Good morning. Greetings and welcome to the 2023 Westchester Upper School Academic Awards Assembly. In keeping with tradition, we begin our ceremony by recognizing the 24 members of the graduating class. Please stand in honor of the class of 2023. Our vocal ensemble, under the direction of Mrs. Shelley Jennings, will now share with us the Westchester Country Day School alma mater. Please be seated. Our purpose here today is to recognize and appreciate the opportunities we've had to work together this year in the pursuit of excellence. Since we began our journey last August, each one of us has advanced our abilities in a multitude of ways. Each of us has mastered new skills and cultivated our talents and each of us has come to know ourselves in a more meaningful way through our life together at Westchester. Today, we especially recognize individuals within our community who've shown the highest levels of dedication to their academic work, their artistic pursuits, and our school community. Through their commitment to hard work, these award recipients have truly attained excellence. We'll begin our program this morning with two special faculty recognitions. To deliver the first one, I ask senior Natty Roberts to come to the podium. It is a tradition at Westchester to honor faculty members who reach certain milestones in their years of service to the school. So if I could please have Mrs. Judy Moy join me on the stage. Ms. Moy is being recognized for her outstanding service to the Westchester community for the past 25 years. I am honored to be able to give back to one of the best teachers I ever had during my time here at Westchester. Ms. Moy, from the first time I stepped into your room for pre-calculus, you left an amazing impression on me. With your warm, welcoming words and kind voice, I instantly felt comfortable in your room. I've always enjoyed math, and I never thought I would find someone who was quite as enthusiastic as my father about numbers, but you exceed him by miles. <laughs> Your enthusiasm for mathematics carries through with every course you teach, 
and your love and passion for teaching is evident. When I got my schedule for this past year, I was dreading early morning AP calculus. But after the first class, I knew I was going to love it. We jumped right in, and we were constantly learning. With your enthusiastic teaching methods and, explain, and explanation of calculus, I thought some days the class was easy. Of course, I was proven wrong the very next, but we made it through. I believe your expertise not only comes from your education, but also from your heart. I know you care deeply about every single person on this campus, and I love that your doors are always open for us. Not just for math, but also if we just need a safe space to be in. Thank you, Ms. Moy, for everything you have done for me and this community, and congratulations for 25 years of service at Westchester. I would now like to invite junior Lauren Cockrum to join me at the podium for the presentation of the Class of 2005 Faculty Award. This award is given to a member of the faculty who, during the course of the academic year, has taken time to give to others in an extraordinary way. The award was created to affirm the kind of selfless one-on-one -on -one support, good humor, and friendship that characterize our community at its very best. Lauren? This year's class of 2005 Faculty Award recipient is Ms. Kim Van Dessel. Please come to the stage. full of appreciation for Ms. Van Dessel and the service she provides as our academic support specialist and teen life coach. She has taught me so many lessons, including to be patient and understand that real learning takes time. She has taught many of us to be organized and approach our work with confidence. These are critical life lessons. If you walk past Ms. Van Dessel's room during tutorial period, you will see how many students come to her for support. Her room provides a safe space for anyone who is struggling with their work, and if you have the chance to speak with her, you will see how her positive and outgoing personality draws people towards her. We appreciate Ms. Van Dessel for being a mentor, a companion, a tutor, and a friend. If you are ever going through a tough time and need to have a cry or a laugh, Ms. Van Dessel will be there for you. Congratulations. Hear from our academic competition clubs beginning with the mock trial club. It's been my honor to serve as the faculty advisor for Westchester's mock trial team. The mission of the mock trial team is to create engaged citizens. Through, play, or through role playing, hands on learning, students gain civic understanding, self confidence, analytical reasoning, and communication. Former Westchester parent and local attorney John Bryson has for years been incredibly generous with his time and expertise as he's worked with our mock trial teams. I know the team members join me in thanking Mr. Bryson for his leadership commitment to this program. Now I'd like to recognize the seven phenomenal young women who participated in the mock trial program this year. Please stand at your seat and when I, when I call your name and remain standing until the end. Emma Engel, Liv Muller, Maggie O'Keefe, Isabella Reed, 
Lucy Corrigan, Cooper Singer, and Avery Herman. Let's give these students a round of applause for their commitment to this program. You may be seated. One of our participants earned special recognition at the regional competition this year, and I'd like to recognize them now. Earning the distinction of best attorney for round one, Isabella Reed. Congratulations to Isabella and to all the other students who gave great performances of their own as witnesses, attorneys, and even as bailiff. Thank you. All right, this year, our Model UN Club competed in two national conferences, Va Moon at the University of Virginia in the fall and Munch at Chapel Hill in the spring. These conferences lasted two to three days each, requiring students to travel overnight, prepare their materials in advance, at least somewhat, and use a variety of public speaking and problem-solving skills during the committee sessions. These students took advantage of the opportunity to develop their skills, learn more about global issues, meet new students from around the country, and of course have a ton of fun doing it. Would the following students who participated in one or both conferences please stand and remain standing to be recognized. Abby Williamson, Mallory Atkinson, Ava Klein, Lyndon Briggs, Isabella Reed, Sophie Stoffaris, Abby Kiever, Zane Williamson, Ben Hunsberger, Ben Daniels, Avery Herman, Hadley Briggs, and earning an honorable mention for his role as John Sutton VI at Va Moon, this year's Model UN President, Grayson Boyette. Thank you all for your hard work. is a creative problem-solving STEAM program for students as young as in kindergarten all the way through college. Each team selects a long-term problem to solve over the course of the school year and then presents a solution at competition in the spring. Back in September, this year's Upper School Odyssey of the Mind team selected the vehicle problem as the one they would tackle. So in a nutshell, they had to create a vehicle that could hold two riders, go a certain distance, and perform all these prescribed tasks. And then there was also a laundry list of all these other requirements the solution had to meet as well. After a month of brainstorming, the team was ready to start designing, constructing, painting, sewing, you name it. To prepare for competition, they met pretty much every Sunday, October through March, and sometimes on Fridays and Saturdays as well. Odyssey requires this kind of unwavering commitment and dedication, so I'm always very proud of and impressed by the students who choose to participate at the high school level. It's amazing to me that these students are able to give this extracurricular activity the brain power and energy it demands on top of all the other things they do and the rigorous classes they take. The seven members of the team are so deserving of recognition just for participating alone. But the girls on this team are awesome, and they also won. Now, full transparency, they didn't have any competition at the regional tournament, so they were a shoo-in to advance to the state tournament. But at the state level, they had serious competition, and they still came in first place. With that first place finish, they advanced to the world finals competition to be held at Michigan State University starting tomorrow. We leave bright and early. So after I call their names and have them stand, please applaud them for their accomplishments and wish them well in this final round of competition. 
The team members are sophomore Cooper Singer and juniors, are you standing? Ms. Cooper, yes yeah, she is. And juniors, I feel your pain. All right. And juniors, Mallory Atkinson, Abby Kiever, Ava Klein, Maggie O'Keefe, Liv Muller, and Riley Yanez. Congratulations. The girls and I would like to thank Ken Mickey and Deb Tuggle for all they did to support the team this year. Before moving on, I would like to recognize one other upper school Odyssey participant, and that is senior Ollie Schwartz. Ollie, will you stand? <laughs> So, although not competing as a team member this year, Ollie stayed active in the program by serving as an assistant coach for a middle school team that chose the technical problem. Thank you, Ollie, for your continued dedication to the program during your senior year. All right, switching gears a little bit, I'd like to now recognize some of our upper school students for a variety of accomplishments. I'll begin by focusing on a citizenship award. Every year, the Alexander Martin chapter of the National Society Daughters of the American Revolution sponsors the DAR Good Citizens Program in High Point. Back in the fall, the upper school faculty nominated seniors who exemplify the characteristics of dependability, service, leadership, and patriotism. And then the senior class voted on the nominees. The winner was honored at a DAR luncheon in November, along with the winners from other area schools. This year's senior class selected Cleveland Armentrout as its DAR good citizen. Cleveland, will you please stand and be recognized for this honor? Now let's turn our attention to some honors resulting from testing. Back in the fall of their junior year, our current seniors took the 2021 Preliminary SAT National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test. As a result of his scores on this test, one of our seniors received a letter of commendation from the National Merit Scholarship Program. I'd like for Cleveland Armentrout to please come forward and receive his certificate from College Board. Board's Advanced Placement Program recognizes high school students who have demonstrated outstanding college level achievement through their performance on AP exams, which are scored on a scale of one to five. I'm happy to announce that several Westchester seniors have earned AP program recognition as a result of their performance on AP exams through 2022. I'll begin by recognizing the seniors who were named an AP Scholar by College Board. AP scholars are students who have received scores of three or higher on three or more AP exams. Seniors, please stand and be recognized when I call your name, and let's hold our applause until all the names have been called. Our AP scholars are Connor Apple, Emma Engel, Caroline Griffith, Caleb Hammond, Cruz Hessling, and Madeline McWhorter. Congratulations. The designation AP Scholar with Distinction is reserved for those students who receive an average score of at least 3.5 on all AP exams taken and scores of three or higher on five or more of these exams. Our AP Scholars with Distinction are, and please stand, Cleveland Armentrout, Grayson Boyette, Ali Schwartz, Sophie Stefaris, and Ruhan Upadia.
Being successful in rigorous AP courses is one of the reasons that many of our graduates earn acceptances into honors colleges or scholar programs at various institutions. I would now like to recognize seniors who were offered a spot in an honors or scholars program at a college or university. Please stand when I call your name and let's hold our applause until all the names have been called. Connor Apple, the honors programs at UNC Charlotte and UNC Wilmington. Grayson Boyette, the honors program at Barry College. Emma Engel, the Wake Forest Scholars Program at Wake Forest University. Cruz Hessling, the honors program at UNC Charlotte. Madeline McWhorter, the honors program at the University of Mississippi. Natty Roberts, the honors programs at Auburn University and the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. Ali Schwartz, the Honors Program and the Blue Sky Scholars Program at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, and the Eccles Scholars Program, College Science Scholars Program, and Jefferson Scholars Program at the University of Virginia. Sophie Stefaris, the Honors Programs at Meredith College and North Carolina State University. Congratulations to all of you. And now we will turn our attention to um, the scholarships that have been offered to the class of 2023. And at this time, please join me in welcoming to the podium a very special guest, Michael Seymour, Admission Liaison Officer for the United States Air Force Academy. Well, good morning. Let's see if I can adjust the mic just a little bit. Well, good morning, Westchester Country Day School. Uh, my name is Michael Seymour, Admissions Liaison Officer for your United States Air Force Academy. It is my pleasure today to represent the United States Air Force and the United States Space Force to present an appointment to the United States Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs, Colorado. This appointment is going to a very deserving young man and is equivalent to a four-year full-ride scholarship at an elite Ivy League university and is valued at $420,000. The Air Force Academy only accepts the best of the best, and the application process is rigorous unlike any other college or university. First, you must qualify academically. For the class of 2027, the average SAT score was over 1410, with a median unweighted GPA of over 3.8. In addition to great grades, you must demonstrate leadership and show how your leadership made a difference to others and to the group over which you were given that responsibility. Second, you must qualify physically. This requires the successful completion of a candidate fitness assessment, which through a series of events, push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups, shuttle run, kneeling basketball throw, and a one-mile run, test your physical ability to handle the stresses of a military academy. Thirdly, you must pass an extensive medical review to assure that you do not have any medical issues that preclude you from serving as a commissioned officer in our armed forces. In typical years, less than half of all applicants pass the medical evaluation. Lastly, you must apply for and secure a nomination from an approved nominating source. For most, this is your member of Congress or your two senators. Each of these nominating sources has their own unique application process and can only have five appointees at the academy at any one time. So in most years, each nominating source has exactly one candidate that will get an appointment. Each year, the United States Air Force Academy is ranked as one of the most prestigious universities in the world and one of the most selective and difficult to get into. This year, over 11,000 applicants began the process and applied for admission, and only 1,250 were offered appointments to enter the academy. So you can see how truly outstanding this young man is who will be joining the long blue line, becoming an outstanding leader of character in the world's greatest air and space force. Mr. Cleveland Armentrout, will you please join me on stage? To develop as leaders, the Air Force, Academy takes, Air Force Academy cadets take part in a wide variety of programs, including flying aircraft, 
free fall parachuting, competitive athletics, military training, and foreign exchange programs around the world. At the same time, they attend classes ranging from aeronautical and electrical engineering to history and political science. At the end of four years, they will have earned a Bachelor of Science degree in their choice of 28 majors and will be commissioned as second lieutenants in the United States Air Force or Space Force. For graduating cadets, the end of school is on the beginning of their adventure. They will take their skills and knowledge they developed at the Air Force Academy and serve in one of 33 Air Force or Space Force career fields for the next five years and longer if they choose. Graduates of the Air Force Academy have gone on to be road scholars, titans of industry, CEOs, politicians, generals, heroes, athletes, and astronauts. And I can't wait to see what Cleveland will do. Cleveland, in just on June 28th, in just 36 days, you will follow in the footsteps of over 54,000 other members of the Long Blue Line and report to the Air Force Academy to begin your journey. It will be the beginning of an adventure that will take you through basic cadet training and milestones such as acceptance day, recognition, commitment day, ring dance, jobs night, hundreds night, and finally with the Air Force Thunderbirds rocketing overhead, graduation, and a commission as a second lieutenant. It will be hard, sometimes very hard. But it's the hard things in life that forge your character, force us to grow, and realize the potential we all have locked inside. Cleveland, the greatest adventure of your life is about to begin. And hold on tight, because it's going to be a fun ride. <laughs> While at the Air Force Academy, Cleveland intends to major in aeronautical engineering and plans to participate in the powered flight program, which opens the door for many of the flight clubs at the Academy, such as the flying team, soaring team, and the world-famous Wings of Blue. Pun graduation in 1,463 days, <laughs> he plans to commission as a pilot in the United States Air Force. So without further ado, it is my pleasure and my honor, on behalf of the President of the United States, Joseph R. Biden, Jr., and on behalf of the Superintendent of the United States Air Force Academy, Lieutenant General Richard Clark, to confer this appointment to the United States Air Force Academy Class of 2027 to Mr. Cleveland Armentrout. Thank you, Michael. At this time, I would like to convey a message from the Jefferson Scholars Foundation at the University of Virginia. The foundation was disappointed that they could not send their own representative to speak in person today, but they have asked me to read the following statement on their behalf. Ali Schwartz, a senior at Westchester Country Day School, has been awarded one of the most highly selective merit scholarships in the nation. The Jefferson Scholars Foundation at the University of Virginia selected Ali as one of 38 recipients of the Jefferson Scholarship. She will commence her studies in the fall at UVA. In order to be named a scholar, candidates must undergo a rigorous, highly competitive, multi-stage selection process. First, they are nominated by their high schools or affiliated organizations based on their demonstrated excellence and exceptional potential in the areas of leadership, scholarship, and citizenship. Once nominated, the students go through at least one round of regional interviews. If selected as a regional finalist, students are then invited to participate in a final round of interviews. This year, over 2,300 students were nominated for the scholarship and 150 finalists were invited to take part in remote interviews conducted by UVA alumni and faculty. The 38 selected recipients of the 2023 Jefferson Scholarship boast a number of significant achievements, and Ali is no exception. In addition to receiving the full cost of attending the university for four years, Jefferson Scholars benefit from a number of enrichment programs sponsored by the foundation including travel abroad, career networking activities, and a leadership speaker series. Ali, please come forward and accept this certificate from the Jefferson Scholars Foundation in recognition of this outstanding honor.
At this time, I would like to celebrate all of the other college scholarships that have been awarded to the members of the class of 2023. Seniors, when I read your name, please stand briefly and be recognized. Everyone else, let's hold our applause until all of these scholarship recipients have been named. Air Force ROTC Scholarship, Cleveland Armentrout. Appalachian State University Appalachian Excellence Scholarship, Anna Beth Merritt and Drew Lassiter. Auburn University Academic Charter Scholarship, Anna Beth Merritt. Auburn University Academic Presidential Scholarship and Auburn University Chemical Engineering Scholarship, Natty Roberts. Baylor University Baylor Distinction Award, Jacob Johnson. Barry College Academic Scholarship, Grayson Boyette. College of Charleston Merit Scholarship, Skylar Manning. Clemson University Academic Scholarship, Cruz Hessling and Natty Roberts. Creative Opportunities Unlimited Scholarship, Ali Schwartz. Elon University Presidential Scholarship, Sophie Stefaris. Guilford College Clara Cox Scholarship, Liza Foster, who couldn't be with us today. High Point University Junior Scholars Award Presidential Scholarship and Athletic Scholarship, Caleb Hammond. High Point University Junior Scholars Award and Presidential Scholarship, Cruz Hessling. The Mary and Elliot Wood Foundation Scholarship, Sophie Stefaris. Meredith College Merit Scholarship, All STEM Scholarship, and Honors College Scholarship, Sophie Stefaris. The University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill Blue Sky Award, Ali Schwartz. University of North Carolina Charlotte Chancellors and Honors College Scholarship, Connor Apple and Cruz Heslin. University of North Carolina Charlotte Athletic Scholarship and Johnson Scholarship, Cruz Heslin. University of North Carolina Wilmington Distinguished Merit Scholarship, Connor Apple. North Carolina Odyssey of the Mind Susan Lawson Memorial Scholarship, Ali Schwartz. Queens University of Charlotte University Scholarship, Drew Lassiter. Queens University of Charlotte Presidential Scholarship, Grayson Boyette. University of South Carolina Academic Scholarship, Annabeth Merritt. The University of Tennessee Knoxville Explore Scholarship, Jacob Johnson. The University of Tennessee Knoxville Volunteer Scholarship, Annabeth Merritt and Natty Roberts. Tallahassee Community College Athletic Scholarship, Bryce Hooker. Toccoa Falls College Provost Scholarship, Zane Dinkins. Wake Forest University Bauer Family Wake Forest Scholarship, Emma Engel. <coughs> Wake Forest University Junia C. and Eliza P. Brown Scholarship, Ollie Schwartz. Wingate University Scholarship, Madeline Adams, who's not with us. Congratulations to all these seniors. All right. If we aren't blown away by all of that. Okay, we're going to bring it back a little closer to campus and hear about some leadership and service accomplishments here at Westchester, and then follow that up with departmental honors. This year, we have enjoyed the company of a student who lived and studied a great distance from home and family. This brave individual came to Westchester from abroad and flourished here in myriad ways, despite the physical, cultural, and linguistic differences he encountered on a daily basis. 
We now recognize our international wildcat, Jack Tian. Turning now to student government, it is tradition at Westchester to recognize the person who has led our community this year due to her elected high office of student body president. Our president this year has attended to countless details, facilitated many community activities, and fueled our school spirit. She is highly conscientious and strives for excellence in every way, excellence not only for herself, but for this school. For her service to us, please join me in thanking our student body president, Aliana Schwartz. Thank you. The Susie Holloman Humanitarian Award is decided by nomination and vote of the faculty. The award is given to an upper school student who exhibits the very favorable personal qualities of a former Westchester student whose life ended tragically in 1985, well before her time. She was known for her contagious positive energy and her great enthusiasm for her school. Her family and peers created a named award in her name to recognize an upper school student who embodies kindness, and generosity toward others. This year's recipient is known for her outgoing, friendly nature, her spontaneous energy, and her infectious laughter. Our Susie Holloman Award is Drew Lassiter. The Westchester Good Citizenship Award is also decided by nomination and vote of the faculty. Past winners of the award, such as Jamie Atkinson, Gabby Culler, and Alex Hicks, were selected due to their outstanding acts of service to the Westchester community. This recipient can often be seen around campus helping with small tasks that, when taken together, make a big difference. Our Westchester Good Citizenship Award recipient this year is Ruhan Apadia. In each grade, 9 through 11, a distinguished scholar is selected by both of the faculty who teach at that grade level. To be eligible, a student must have a minimum GPA of 4.0 for the current school year. Faculty at each grade level cast their votes based on the demonstration of such scholarly qualities of curiosity, tenacity, passion for learning, and active engagement. This year, our ninth grade distinguished scholar is Avery Herman. If you'll just stand here for a minute. When asked, Avery's teachers offered the following words of praise and recognition. Mr. Jones reports that Avery is a thoughtful, critical thinker and insightful writer, producing strong, persuasive, creative, and analytic essays. In U.S. history, Mrs. Eftink observed Avery to be extremely knowledgeable about history and current events, enabling her to thoughtfully engage in and lead class discussion. And in AP Human Geography, Avery's innate curiosity, diligence, and readiness to conduct independent research enabled her to go below the surface for many of the topics we encountered. In the course of her election to be our ninth grade distinguished scholar, Avery was named for certificates of merit in the departments of history, science, and English. Congratulations, Avery.
Thank you. And now to the 10th grade. This year's 10th grade distinguished scholar is Cooper Singer. Here are a few notes from Cooper's teachers. Mrs. Albert shared that Cooper's passion for character has been evident this year in discussions she frequently has with her peers, often before class has even begun. In her writing, she loves to experiment with tone and voice, leading to intentional rhetorical choices that demonstrate excellent critical thinking ability. Cooper's writing and commentary are beyond excellent. Excuse me a moment. On page six here. <laughs> Mrs. Bayliss noted that Cooper is dependable and goes beyond the call of duty on a routine basis. She's passionate about art and design and has extended this interest into the wider High Point community. And according to Mrs. Noyes, Cooper has regularly contributed to our school's theoretical, theatrical arena. Theoretical as well. <laughs> In the fall, as an end, Sester to Moana, she expertly learned the native language of the opening song, apparently. As many of us have seen, Cooper's performances on stage are captivating and versatile. Cooper has been named for certificates of merit in the departments of history, science, English, theater, and the visual arts. Congratulations, Cooper. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Finally, in the 11th grade, this year, our 11th grade distinguished scholar is Isabella Reed. Isabella? Okay, words from her teachers. Mr. Smith reports that Bella is a standout in social studies classroom. She has an uncanny ability to remember the minutia of historical details, probably due to her strong work ethic. From the most mundane to the most meaningful assignment, Bella does everything with style and excellence. Dr. Garcia echoes these sentiments, noting, Bella is one of the most dedicated students I have worked with here at Westchester. She loves learning and is a scholar at heart. She's an avid reader, articulate, disciplined, and a wonderful supportive friend to her peers. And according to Mrs. Noyes, Bella performs on stage with the greatest enthusiasm possible, precise, purposeful, and creative. Describe Bella's dramatic movements, Bella's contribution to Westchester's th theatrical community is greatly appreciated. I imagine Bella will bring her signature curiosity and engagement to her summer studies at Summer Ventures that she will attend this summer. Isabella has been named for certificates in the departments of history, science, and English. Congratulations, Bella. We will now hear from our additional department awards, beginning with the theater department. I wasn't thinking very theoretical that then. <laughs> okay. Here we go. In the fall, I was pleased to have 12 upper school students participating in the first through 12th grade musical, Moana. In the winter, the upper school experience, Black Box Theater, had just over 15 upper school students involved in one way or another. It was based on this participation that the awards were determined. Will the following students please come forward to receive awards? Hadley Briggs, Maggie O'Keefe, Liv Muller, and Emma Engel. I 
I know some people might think that sounds real simple and stupid, and maybe I am, but that's how I get through things like this. Although you make performing look simple, Hadley, you and I both know how difficult and time-consuming it is. Your perception of character, delivery of lines, and the sheer joy you bring to the stage makes me so glad you like getting through things like this. Congratulations. Hey, it's your day to say you're welcome. Well, Liv came to school this past summer to help with musical theater camp before she even spent her first day in a classroom at Westchester. She is what's known as a triple threat, dance, music, and acting. She is the full package. And thank you. I am Moana of Montanui. You will board my boat, sail across the sea, and restore the heart of Tafiti. Your journey on the stage since ninth grade has been epic. I've watched you create various characters with intent, questioning motivation, and movement. You are now prepared to board Wake Forest's boat, sail across the campus to restore another heart as you have restored mine. Are you just trying to get me to talk about myself? Because if you are, I will gladly do so. <laughs> Maggie's stage presence has every eye focused on her, whether she's a gigantic crab, Abbott of Abbott and Costello, or Weezer, a wealthy curmudgeon. Her vast theatrical experience since kindergarten as the baby elephant in Jungle Book has made her a confident, reliable actor. Maggie assisted the K-8 production, Magic Treehouse, Pirates Past Noon, with choreography and sound, hardly ever missing a rehearsal, even during AP exams. Maggie, in the words of Tomatoa, like a treasure from a sunken pirate wreck, you will sparkle like a wealthy woman's neck. You're shiny. <laughs> For their consistent participation in production since kindergarten, when they participated in the K-12 musical production of Once Upon a Mattress, to this year's production of Moana, starring in leading roles. I'd like to award Caroline Griffith and Madeline Adams a lifetime award. Please come forward to receive your token of appreciation. Good morning, I'm Victoria Bayless, the upper school art teacher, and I'll be presenting the awards for visual arts today. Could the following students please join me on the stage? Cassie Woodall, Katherine Walter, Abby Williamson, and Cruz Hessling. Quiet, diligent, humble, and unassuming are a few of the qualities that come to mind when I first think of Cassie. However, after having had the pleasure of getting to teach Cassie for a full year in Art One, I have come to know her as a student who is not afraid to experiment and try new things. She has fantastic grit and understands that growth and learning occur in the depths of challenges. 
This winter, I called for student work to display at the high school art show hosted by the Art Gallery at Congdon Yards. Cassie was the only student who brought me a fresh, expressive piece that she completed on her own outside of our usual technique strengthening activities. Cassie is discovering her voice as an artist, and I look forward to celebrating future artistic achievements with her. Congratulations. Although I have had the pleasure of serving as Catherine's art instructor for only one short year, I have been able to watch her blossom into a wise, confident, and artful individual. Catherine's artistic sensibilities extend beyond the walls of our Westchester Art Studio. Besides regularly visiting art museums with her parents, Catherine exhibited a value drawing in white charcoal at the gallery at Congdon Yards this winter and has even spent some time volunteering there. She actively seeks constructive criticism of her work, and it's worth mentioning her impeccable craftsmanship exceeds even my own discerning expectations. Next year, Catherine will continue her art studies, progressing on to advanced art. She is more than capable of handling the artistic rigor that lies ahead, and her growth has been a joy to witness. Congratulations. I am so pleased to present Abby Williamson with a Certificate of Merit in recognition of her artistic dedication and growth. Last summer, Abby volunteered as a summer camp assistant with the art camps offered by TAG for the youth of our local High Point community. She has assisted me in painting the Wapa Spirit Rock on multiple occasions and has helped Mr. Mickey with various backdrop paintings and set designs for our school productions. She is dependable and helpful to such an extent that she typically dives in with assistance before I can even get around to asking her for it. She knows what she likes, but she also enjoys to try new things. Abby dedicated her second semester work in advanced art to exploring architectural processes. She meticulously created a model contemporary home that she designed herself and painstakingly measured and constructed, provide, proving that she is becoming increasingly more aware of her specific strengths and inspirations as an artist. Abby, congratulations on this much-deserved Certificate of Merit and for allowing me to pick your brain for constru constructive criticism of my own work. Congratulations. <laughs> Finally, I am pleased to present Mr. Cruz Hessling with this year's art plaque to commemorate his ongoing dedication to artistic excellence. Cruz's grit, perseverance, and drive were key factors in his successful production of a digital AP art and design portfolio over the course of this school year. Through creative problem solving, Cruz presented his true passion, running, through sleek graphics married with photography and cool branding mock-ups. I truly admire Cruz's unwavering self-discipline and continuous self-assessment to be the best artist he can be and the most well-rounded individual he can be. These positive habits will certainly benefit him as he furthers his growth at UNC Charlotte this fall. It has been such a pleasure to serve as your art instructor these past five years. I'm so proud of your achievements. Never stop drawing. Would Mallory Atkinson, Lyndon Briggs, and Carolyn Griffiths please come to the stage? On behalf of the music department, I'd first like to honor Madeline Adams, who's unable to be with us today due to her continued capstone project. However, Mrs. Jennings has chosen to recognize the musical prowess of Madeline Adams with a certificate in music. 
Madeline and Mrs. Jennings have worked together on and off for 11 years, from general music classes starting in the second grade through footnote, footnote choir trips, which uh, there may be some non-forgiveness from Madeline because of a roller coaster ride incident <laughs> that Mrs. Jennings is still apologizing for, to middle school guitar and piano, and finally wrapping things up this year with concert choir. Mrs. Jennings has enjoyed being a part of Madeline's musical journey and reminds Madeline to make sure to keep music as a part of her life as she heads to Wilmington this fall. Congratulations, Madeline. <laughs> Mallory Atkinson shall be awarded a certificate in music. Mallory has expanded her musicianship this year, adding drums and finally vocals to her guitar and bass duties in the band. She continues to enhance her setup and sound equipment skills to ensure that the band is always ready to rock. All this while also performing violin with the High Point Community Orchestra at multiple concerts this season. Congratulations, boss. Lyndon Briggs will be receiving a certificate in music this year for her continued growth as a pianist and keyboardist in this year's band Kitchen Sing. Also taking drums, guitar, bass, along as needed as we've moved through the year. Always early to rehearsals with a how can I help attitude. She makes things always run smoother for the band while sharing that awesome smile. Congratulations, Lyndon. The highest award this year in music goes to Caroline Griffith, partially for surviving 10 years of working with me. <laughs> All joking aside, she has taken the leadership of this year's band very seriously and has thoughtfully guided us as we have made our way through the season while playing drums like a pro, guitar like a star, and singing with that sweet, beautiful voice that I'm looking forward to performing tonight with Kitchen Sink one last time as Caroline, right here on the stage, vocal recital, 7 p.m. <laughs> I'm sure we will all hear and enjoy music from Caroline for years to come, and also movies. Enjoy New York and NYU this fall, and show the Big Apple how to rock. Congratulations. <laughs> Good morning, my name is Diana Garcia and I teach upper school Spanish and eighth grade Spanish. And it is my honor uh, to present the Spanish department uh, words today. This year we have three distinguished recipients of the Certificate of Merit and one outstanding student who will receive the highest recognition. Will the following students please come to the podium? Sila Goins, Chloe Demark, Covington Hauser, and Isabella Reed. <laughs> the first certificate of merit goes to Sila Goins, and this is on behalf of Ms. Stanley. Sila, thank you for happily participating in anything we do in class helping other students when you see a need, and being invested in the Spanish language. You're a joy to have in class, and I cannot wait to see where you will go in your educational journey. Felicidades. Okay. The second certificate of merit goes to Chloe Denmark, on behalf of Ms. Stanley. Chloe, you didn't verbally draw attention to yourself often, but your work shone bright for you. 
You were always ready and willing to dive into a new task and excel at them. It has been a joy to watch your language skills grow this last half of the second year together. Keep up the amazing work and dedication. Felicidades. The third certificate of merit goes to Covington Hauser. Covington, it has been such a pleasure to have you as a student this year. You have come so far in your language studies, and I am so proud of your accomplishments. Thank you for making me laugh often and for making our class such a cheerful environment. I will miss you, and I hope that you will continue uh, to find joy in learning. Felicidades. <laughs> And the highest recognition goes to Isabella Reed. Isabella, you have been an outstanding student in Spanish class ever since I met you in eighth grade. I am so proud of all your enthusiasm and dedication. You truly have a gift for languages, and I hope you continue on your Spanish learning journey for years to come. Thank you for a wonderful year, and I cannot wait to see you in AP Spanish ne next year. Felicidades. If I could get Caleb Winstead, Claire Neal, Ben Daniel, and Caroline Griffith to please join me. From Ms. Eftink. Caleb was a thoughtful, kind, and bright student in both freshman classes this year. He was always engaged in discussions, explored topics deeper, and made great connections. His respectful attitude towards me and his peers went a long way in class and always brightened my day. I enjoyed watching him grow and how he responded to new topics and developed thoughtful opinions and responses on really challenging issues in today's society and government. He has two characteristics of great historical thinkers, empathy and curiosity. Congratulations, Caleb. And from Ms. Carter, Claire's ability to not only master the content in AP World, but also make the broad connections necessary to fully comprehend the scope of the course have earned her a certificate in history. Her commitment to being fully prepared for discussions and her willingness to engage with questions made her both a resource for her peers and an asset to the class. Claire's insistence on continuing with questions until she was satisfied with her understanding of the material made me a more effective teacher. Thank you for your contributions to our class. Congratulations, Claire. Ben is a natural historian. He has an intensity for studying peoples, cultures, languages, and events from the past and present. He contributes significantly to classroom discussions without any need to be right or better in his view, but simply with an eye on and even a smile for the learning of new knowledge. When it came to big assignments, I had to put boundaries on Ben so he wouldn't overdo, as if working towards a doctoral thesis. Ben, create a presentation on the Vietnam War, but only what APUSH needs you to know. Yes, sir, Mr. Smith was always his reply, and thorough was always his outcome. For his courteous candor and historical prowess, a certificate goes to Ben Daniel. and from Mrs. Smith, Mrs. Singer and Mr. Smith. This student was a pleasure to have in class. She was an integral part of a very small AP Psychology and AP European History classes where she always found a way to stand out amongst several great students. Ms. Singer called it a dream team, and in my class you were also part of a dream team. Thanks, Cleveland. When Mrs. Singer or I was teaching, her face would light up with interest. She would dig deeper, ask more questions, and engage her peers in discussing topics further. She asked questions that told us she was thinking a great deal about the matter at hand, 
how it not only applied to her, but to those around her. And she made great connections between the content of the two courses. She truly enjoyed the material that we were learning in class. And although she will not be majoring in psychology or history when she attends NYU this fall, her knowledge in the social sciences will surely help her in her film career. We're proud to announce that this year's plaque goes to Caroline Griffin. Good morning. It's my pleasure to announce our Science Department Awards. If Hadley, Jameson, Cleveland, and Ollie would please join me on stage. So in addition to the certificates um, earned by all three of our distinguished scholars this year, I'll also be awarding our next certificate to Hadley Briggs. In the words of Mr. Stern, throughout the year, Hadley has been the most engaged and enthusiastic member of this year's honors biology cohort. Always cheerful and interested in every topic, she asked great questions and went above and beyond in every lab and project, particularly her final paper. The rough draft was near perfect the first time. Hadley, I'm very excited to teach you next year as you continue your science journey in chemistry. Congratulations on a job well done. Our next certificate goes to Jameson Kalfi. Jameson has continued his tradition of excellence in my chemistry class this year. I've so appreciated his intelligence, mature attitude and work ethic, attention to detail, and sense of humor. His creativity and willingness to go above and beyond were especially evident throughout his element project, from his stylish Bohr model sweatshirt of aluminum to his Breaking Bad inspired video presentation. Jameson, I know my class has been almost too easy for you, so I'm very excited for the opportunity to challenge you in a good way in AP Chemistry next year. Congratulations, Jameson. This year, our department feels strongly that two seniors have equally earned the distinction of receiving a plaque for their achievements in science at Westchester. Our first plaque goes to Cleveland Armentrout. His mastery of both AP chemistry and supersonic jet engines have impressed me beyond words. Mr. Stern said of Cleveland, in every science class where Cleveland was present, I relied on him to steer us right, even more than the textbook in many cases. He remains the only student to ever have removed the full pig brain, cerebellum, and medulla oblongata intact. <laughs> Mrs. Marsh added that students routinely turn to Cleveland for explanations and support while they're grappling with a problem. He doesn't just provide the answer, but quite articulately, ex articulately explains why the problem requires a given solution. Congratulations, Cleveland. <laughs> and finally, our second plaque goes to Aliana Swartz. After her stellar performance in AP Chemistry last year, I wasn't surprised in the least to hear that she's continued to excel in her science courses this year. Mrs. Marsh recalls moments in AP Physics, such as the Flying Pig Lab, where Ollie was able to think outside the box to determine how to make the measurements such that she and her peers could make appropriate calculations. Ollie consistently works hard and strives to do her best and to help others refine their own understanding. Mr. Stern agreed that no matter the significance of the assignment, Ollie always gives 100%. He says, I'll also, missed her, I'll also miss her tactful and forthright nature, particularly when I make an error on the board. Congratulations, Ollie. And 
we do actually have one final science award to present. The Vijaya Kumar Chemistry Award was created by the family of former Westchester valedictorian Madhu Kumar, class of 2000, in memory of his father. The award recognizes one student each year who has particularly excelled at chemistry. This year's recipient has unparalleled passion for and curiosity about all things science, but has discovered a newfound appreciation for chemistry in particular throughout AP Chem this year. From her insightful questions during class, to her colorful study guides, to the countless hours she's volunteered cleaning glassware and helping me plan experiments, it's hard to imagine my AP Chem labs without her. But I have no doubt that her unfailing determination to do her very best will continue to benefit her in her science courses next year. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Maggie O'Keefe. Maggie, please join us on stage. I'm Miss Wang. I teach middle school and upper school Mandarin. I'm pleased to be part of the comprehensive Mandarin program at Westchester Country Day School. Our school offers from elementary through the advanced level AP courses Mandarin, demonstrates a commitment to providing a quality education in Mandarin. Focusing on oral and written literacy is crucial for language acquisition and fluency. By emphasizing both aspects, we are helping our students develop strong commu communication skills in Mandarin. Cross-cultural studies and festival celebrations alongside language learning can foster a deeper appreciation and understanding of the Mandarin-speaking world. Overcoming obstacles and achieving a high level of proficiency in a foreign language is no easy job at all. But our Mandarin learners' determination is commendable. Please give them applause. As an educator, I'm very grateful to witness the growth and success of our students. Will the following students please come forward to receive awards? Lyndon Briggs, Claire Neal, Grayson Boyd and Cooper Singer. <laughs> the first certificate goes to Lyndon Briggs. Learning a language can be challenging, but Lyndon approaches it with a positive attitude and a sincere passion. I can tell that from her daily smiles into my class. Thanks to her determination and warm personality, I'm glad to witness that her learning journey has become a more enjoyable and fulfilling experience. Being a hard worker and reliable are valuable qualities that contribute to language learning. Consistency and dedication are key to making progress and mastering a new language. Lyndon's willingness to do whatever needs to be done demonstrates her commitment to her studies. She has made remarkable progress in Mandarin, and I have no doubt that she will continue to achieve great things. Thank you, Lyndon. Um, the second certificate goes to Claire. Claire, she is a standout. Uh, this is from Ms. Gia's oh, okay, remarks. Claire is a standout in our Mandarin classroom. She demonstrates a talent 
for language and a strong work ethic that keeps pushing her forward. She has grown in so many aspects in the last two years, and I sincerely wish her the best as she continues to strive for excellence in all that she finds passion and purpose. <laughs> The first part goes to Grissom Boyett. His intelligence and hardworking nature make him stand out among his peers. Grissom's dedication to Mandarin throughout his 12th grade journey is truly commendable. It is admirable to see him tackle difficult concepts and push himself beyond his comfort zone. Moreover, his critical thinking skills are praised which indicates his ability to analyze and evaluate concepts and ideas in Mandarin. This skill set is essential for deeper understanding and engaging in meaningful conversations. Please extend my admiration to Grissom for his exceptional performance and growth in Mandarin. I'm confident that with his intelligence, hard work, and passion, he will continue to excel and make remarkable achievements in the future. <laughs> the second part goes to Cooper Singer. Cooper is a very conscientious Mandarin learner. Not only does she show consistent effort in honing her language skills, but also has a commitment to extending her language learning journey well into the future. All these qualities are essential to acquiring a target language, and I have no doubt that she will garner the kind of accomplishments that a hard worker deserves. Charles Darwin once surmised, a mathematician is a blind man in a dark room looking for a black cat that isn't there. I'm sure there are times when solving a math problem feels very much like that. The following students have risen to the top of their class by finding that black cat even when it wasn't there. <laughs> Will the following students please come forward? Sutton Scott, Maggie O'Keefe, Ollie Schwartz, and Cleveland Armentrout. <laughs> All comments made about each of these students were written by Mrs. Moy. Sutton is a talented math student and a critical thinker. Her work demonstrates precision in calculations and attention to detail. Sutton listens intently, volunteers to work problems on the board, and asks questions that extend her knowledge. Sutton's commitment to excellence has earned her the highest average in advanced pre-calculus. Congratulations, Sutton. Maggie is an inquisitive and disciplined scholar. She is an active class participant, offering insightful explanations and posing thought-provoking questions. Her work is thorough, organized, and demonstrates quality time invested in pre preparation. Maggie's diligence and strong work ethic have earned her the highest average in AP statistics. Congratulations, Maggie. Ollie is an outstanding student who possesses an extremely strong work ethic. She faces challenges with determination and passion. 
Ali is thorough, well-prepared, and consistently produces excellent work that demonstrates evidence of valuable time invested. She is highly motivated and does not settle for less than her very best. Congratulations, Ali. <laughs> Cleveland is a gifted student who strives for excellence in all that he does. He is an independent learner, a critical thinker, and is insightful in his ability to apply concepts. Cleveland demonstrates depth of knowledge and understanding in his work and class contributions. He leads by example as, and is an inspiration to his peers. His dedication and hard work have earned him the highest average in AP Calculus. Congratulations, Cleveland. Morning. I'm going to be presenting some words on behalf of the English department. Um, could I please have Anita Kiermalethong, Kirian Beach, Lucy Corrigan, and Ollie Schwartz to the stage? Anita's English teacher, Mr. Jones, had this to say about her. Anita is what you look for in an English student. She's a studious reader, a strong writer. However, more importantly, she enjoys analyzing novels and not only asking important questions, but looking for answers to those questions. She wants to get to the heart of a book and its characters. At her core, she is a natural with words and ideas, whether it's a creative work, a critical essay, or breaking down a novel. There's many words to describe Anita, but the one that describes her the best is simply exemplary. Not many students choose the essay topic a teacher labels as the challenging one, but Kirian does. For example, she examined the question, why Florence, when researching the city's influence on the start of the Renaissance, requiring her to not only research what happened in Florence during the 14th and 15th centuries, but also to analyze and draw conclusions about why it happened. She is a critical thinker, gifted writer, and excellent humanities scholar. Lucy is a student whom I would love to have in my book club. Before the start of each humanities class, you'll hear Lucy, along with some peers, um, vociferously expressing her frustration and irritation with Victor Frankenstein or her appreciation for Oscar Wilde's witty dialogue between characters Jack and Algernon. Lucy's connection with characters is personal and intimate. She is a strong reader, articulate writer, and superb humanities student. <laughs> Ollie's AP literature teacher, Mr. Atkinson, had this to say about her. From day one, Ollie's work in AP literature and composition has been thoughtful, insightful, and inspiring. She has a knack for critical thinking and a keen eye for the important elements of a passage or poem. Allie's writing is sharp, clear, and compelling. Her essays were always among the top submissions in the course. She is also a generous, thoughtful classmate when working alongside her peers in small group exercises. Though I understand that Allie will likely be studying something other than fiction and poetry as an undergrad, I hope she will always have a novel or book of poems in her backpack to read over coffee or between classes. Congratulations, Ollie.
It is now my honor to present two other awards um, based out of the English department. The Elizabeth L. Rothrock Scholarship for Excellence in English is named in memory of Elizabeth Betty Rothrock, who was an active member of the Westchester community, serving as a faculty member, trustee, parent, and volunteer in the 1980s and 1990s. Aubrey Rothrock, a graduate of Westchester, wished to establish a scholarship in memory of his mother. Rothrock said of his mother that her greatest joy was introducing young people to the wealth of knowledge and important life lessons afforded by the study of literature. She had a passion for American literature and the classics, and this scholarship cements her legacy at Westchester by recognizing students who excel in one of these areas. The winners will receive a scholarship towards a portion of their tuition next year. Will Davis Beck and Mallory Atkinson please come to the stage? Davis is a humble scholar. Because he's reserved in class, I'm sure that many of his classmates might not realize his gift for writing an argument. Occasionally, I teach students whose writing already reflects the professional caliber expected at the graduate and PhD level, and Davis's work is of that level. He crafts sophisticated arguments that are convincing and reflect a nuanced understanding of the other side of the argument. The depth of his commentary is beyond impressive and not typical of students his age. In a society that believes arguments are politicians and news anchors bickering at each other on the TV screen, Davis models and gives me hope that there are still talented rhetoricians, and I hope that he uses that ability to help us all see the power of effective language and argument. I believe that Mrs. Rothrock would have no doubt appreciated Davis's facile ability to use language in a powerful and effective manner. <laughs> Mallory is a gifted learner, combining curiosity and a strong critical thinking ability. In English class, Mallory is often the first to pose questions about the text, modeling for her classmates what strong analysis looks like. She devours books in half the time of her peers, an indication of her appreciation for and nuanced understanding of the written word. For example, when we studied Trevor Noah's Born a Crime, Mallory would turn in her chapter rhetorical analyses three and four days in advance of their due dates because she had read so far ahead. And each analysis reflected a deep, critical understanding of the text. Because of her gift and passion for understanding literature, I believe her work in the sciences and on Odyssey of the Mind team is stronger. Mallory understands the human condition, and that comes from being a well-read individual, something our English department strives to instill in students. Congratulations, Mallory. The Peters Family Scholarship is a $1,000 tuition grant funded by a gift to the school's endowment and awarded each May to a rising senior to honor the legacy left by the Peters children, Elise, Anthony, and Nicole. To be considered for the award, students must have a minimum cumulative grade point average of 3.5 and have contributed substantially to the teams, clubs, organizations, or community service efforts of which they have been a part during their time at Westchester. Peter's family scholars are more than simply well-rounded students. They are students who thrive in the classroom, balance a variety of responsibilities, and give their all in leadership and service to others. Most importantly, Peter's family scholars are students who make a difference and whose efforts have a lasting impact on those around them. 
Please join me in congratulating this year's Peters Family Scholarship recipient, Ava Klein. You're happy to stay, but you know. <laughs> the heart of our school's mission sits a deep and powerful commitment to moral excellence. The first and most important of the four pillars that we strive toward each and every day. Each year, the Westchester Cup is given to the upper school student whom the faculty has chosen as the most exemplary in exhibiting strong moral values someone who models for others a deep, ongoing commitment to moral excellence. Westchester Cup recipients understand that strong character is the foundation upon which all of our endeavors rest. They live in generous, intentional, and selfless ways, and they are held in high esteem by their classmates, teachers, coaches, and administrators. It's my honor to announce that this year's Westchester Cup goes to Cleveland Army Trial. We're all looking forward to Westchester's 52nd commencement on June 3rd. Commencement marshals are the five members of Westchester's junior class with the highest cumulative GPAs during their upper school careers. Please stand at your seat and remain standing when I call your name. The marshals are in alphabetical order. Mallory Atkinson, Lyndon Briggs, Ava Klein, Maggie O'Keefe, and Isabella Reed. Congratulations. The valedictorian of the Westchester senior class is the senior with the highest cumulative GPA during his or her upper school career. The salutatorian is the student with the second highest GPA calculated in the same manner. The valedictorian and salutatorian will receive bowls at gra the graduation ceremony. But today we would like for them to stand in their seat and be recognized. I'm pleased to announce that the salutatorian of the class of 2023 is Ruha, Ruhan Upadhyay. And I'm pleased to announce that the valedictorian of the class of 2023 is Aliana Schwartz. <laughs> I'd now I'd like to welcome Mrs. Deb Tuggle, our yearbook advisor, to the podium. Deb. It's always nice to get to go last because everybody's glad to see you. <laughs> so this is my 17th year at Westchester, my 16th yearbook. Miss Argo helped me with the first one. And I would like to recognize the staff who works very hard each year to design the pages, pick out the themes, sell the ads, um, take all the photos, nag everybody who hasn't gotten back with them. Um, and I'm just really proud of the group this year. I do have a couple that aren't here, um, but if you would stand if you are here, Madeline Adams, Lucy Corrigan, Liza Foster, Hannah Melger, Annabeth Merritt, Maggie O'Keefe, Jaden Richardson, Elizabeth Schoff, Graham Tucker, and Jalen Umstead. Please give them a round of applause.
was here, here they are, back to school, ring the bell, brand new shoes, walk and go, by the fence, books and pens, I can tell that we are gonna be friends, yes I can tell that we are gonna be friends. By the tree, we can rest upon the ground and look at all the bugs we find. Safely walk to school without a sign. We safely walk to school without a sign. Well, here we are. We walk to school without a sign. There's no kind of uniforms. We chase a man with a handsome heart. We clean up and now it's time to learn. Downs and books and show and tell Plates are we will throw the band With back and legs through the hall Teacher marks our hand against the wall The teacher marks our hand against the wall We don't notice any time pass We don't notice anything we sit side by side in every class. The teacher thinks that I sound funny, but she likes it when you say it. I got a dream in my bed while silly thoughts run through my head of the bugs and alphabet. And when I wake tomorrow morning, you and I will walk together again. Cause I can tell that we are gonna be friends. Yes, I can tell that we are gonna be friends.